Hey guys, welcome to a Final Fantasy a Realm Reborn slash Heavensward. Here we are in Gridania. And we're going to be looking at a mount that you get through Hatching Tide. Hatching Tide comes on every spring that we see in Final Fantasy. And this time, for the first time ever, as far as I know it is, it's giving us a mount. So you go to New Gridania, go to Mo the Amphitheatre in Old Gridania, take up the quest, and you'll get this. The Exhilaration System. After learning of the latest of the Dreamer's visions, a giant floating ovoid living next to all the good boys and girls of the realm, Minota and her friends literally scramble to find a means of bringing her dream to life. All it requires is a little aid from the Sons of Saint Coiner and the remnants of some ancient Alligan technology. Now the thing is, this doesn't actually deliver eggs, but it does have an activation if we press the remote symbol. A little chocolate chocobo minion leaps out at you. How cute is that? And little stars as well in the sparkle. And it's very nice. The colour reminds me of something I beat in the beast actually. It's gold, intricate design. But what I love about this mount is the race. Depending on your race, depends on how you ride the mount. So you see being a Makote, I'm sort of clinging on for dear life here. I'm gonna hang around to some people over here, so let's go hang around them and see how they're riding. I'm sure they won't mind. There's an aura here. It looks very laid back and chilled. See so they sit with their arms sort of crossed. Lalafells sit like that. And the elves sit like this with their legs crossed. Elven, sorry, do apologize, get it right. See, male auras. Male auras sit with their, uh, their both legs apart, but one leans back and one slightly leans forward. Uh, I've seen a male Makoto right in this, and they're the exact same. They sort of holding on for dear life like this. Lalafells sit in a very cutesy way on top, just perched on top. So they all been doing the typical leg crossed. Not me. I haven't seen any humans. Let's go see if we can find some humans. I can't guarantee that. But this is the mount. Very funny. Um, I didn't notice if it flew or not. Do you know what? In some ways, I'd say no, because this fly might be a little bit weird. But we'll check that out after this. But we do have a really cute little jungle bug popping out. I'm sure, are you a human? Come back. No, I can't see any humans. Humans and rod and rodents. I never pronounce them. They're the ones I have not seen riding this mount. So if you want to go find some of those guys, but say depending on your race, depends on how you ride the mount. I think that is really nice. Does it fly? Yeah, yeah, that's a wing symbol, isn't it? Oh my word, this flies. Okay, you know what? It has to be done. Food. So just quickly, because my lunch is on the table, so I don't like getting cold. So we'll just do a quick flying vid. So you do this quest, it's a very short quest. If you don't watch the cutscenes, you're probably looking at five minutes. If you watch the cutscenes, about ten minutes top. So feel free to watch them. Wow, this is the weird. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. A flying egg. But I so, said, you know what? I really like that. Nice design, nice and sparkly and pretty. And the yes, and you can do that in mid air as well. <laughs> there you go, guys. There's one that you can get for your collection. You don't need to pay for it; it's free. So go get it and add it to your collection. Um, this is. I uh, hope you. Ah, oh, there, that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Keep watching for more vids coming soon. And you guys have a good day now.